Now, we will discuss about the nerve supply of the face. First of all, motor supply of the face. Motor nerves. Position of pyrotin gland. This is position of the pyrotin gland. This is pyrotin gland. This is pyrotin gland. Here is mastoid process. This is styloid process. Between these two process, there is foramen. This is stylo mastoid foramen. This foramen is stylo, stylo mastoid, stylo mastoid foramen. Through this foramen, one nerve passes. This is facial nerve. After passing through this, it passes through the substance of the pyrotid gland, but it do not supply the pyrotid gland. Here it divides into five branches. This is gyromatic branch. Sorry, this is temporal branch. This is temporal branch. And the branch is gyromatic branch. This is gyromatic branch. Here is buccal branch, which is divided into upper and lower buccal. This is buccal branch and here is marginal mandibular branch. This is marginal mandibular branch and another branch is cervical branch. Cervical branch. So it gives five branches. First is temporal, gyromatic, then buccal, then marginal mandibular and cervical branch. Here Sometimes this nerve is compressed here and the side of the exit of this nerve here, this nerve is compressed. If this nerve is compressed, then what happens? Here is This is red line. Here is transverse line. By this line is divided into right and left half, and by transverse line is divided into upper and lower part of the face. Here is cerebral cortex. Here is nuclei. This is facial nerve nuclei. This is the main parts. The face is supplied. Here is supranuclear fiber. This supranuclear fiber gives supply to upper and lower part of the opposite side of the face. Here. And here same side fibers, ipsilateral fibers, here give supply to the upper part of the face only. So if two fibers give supply to the same side, upper part of the face, and this contralateral fibers crosses give supply to the upper and lower part both. If region is here, that means below the nucleus, that means region is here. This is known as Bell's palsy. This is lower motor neuron region. Then spancy. In this palsy, this is side of the region and this is face. Palsy occurs in the side of the region. This, this, in this side, this is right side. So if there is any region here, here, the right side of the face is paralyzed. If this face, this part of the face is paralyzed, then army there is not only frontalis muscle and all these muscles become inactive. 
So patient cannot uh, blink the eye, it cannot uh, close the eye, eyes always open due to pulses of the arrhythmic apply muscle. Cannot fold here, the transverse fold is formed by contacts in the frontalis. And if try to smile, face separated uh, towards the normal side. In case of supranuclear lesion, if lesion is here, then what happens? There is palsy of palsy of opposite side. This is side of the lesion. This is palsy. This lesion is here on the left side and palsy is on the right side. This is contra lateral side of the palsy. And here you can see from same side fibers, this fibers, this is the upper part. That's why in the supranuclear lesion, only this part is affected. This part is affected. Upper part is escaped because only this nerve is damaged here. This, this nerve damaged, which comes from opposite side. And this nerve, which comes from the same side, this is intact, which gives up right to the upper part of the same side of the face. This is the difference between supranuclear and infranuclear palsy. Infranuclear palsy is known as Bell's palsy. So this is all about the motor supply in the face. Thank you.